right, many women diagnosed with breast cancer opt for radiation treatment, and there's a good reason for that. The treatment can kill a significant amount of malignant cells. But according to a new study out of UCLA's Johnson Cancer Center, some of the cells that survive the radiation transform into cells that are actually stronger and far more deadly. If breast cancer hits my family, my best friends, I would not hesitate a second to recommend radiation treatment. A surprising statement from UCLA Johnson breast cancer researcher, Dr. Frank Pajank. Given his latest discovery about what happens to those breast cancer cells that survive radiation. Sometimes some of the cells seem to change into cancer stem cells that are then very, very aggressive and very hard to treat. In other words, creating super cells that no existing treatment can stop. The radiation itself generates this rare population of cells out of cells that are not really important. His discovery was made possible by cell imaging techniques that allow doctors to see new details of cancer cells. Using fluorescent light, we can make cancer stem cells glow green in the dark and identify them. Dr. Pajank hopes his discovery will help doctors develop better drugs to fight cancer stem cells. In the meantime... A very good surgeon is the best thing that a cancer patient can have. But um, radiation treatment is extremely effective. It's extremely safe. Hmm. Now joining us to discuss why doctors still recommend radiation is breast cancer surgeon Dr. Dennis Holmes, director of the L.A. Center for Women's Health at California Medical Center. Dr. Holmes, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Right off the top, let's say Liz and I walk into your office. Liz has breast cancer. Hmm. And she looks at you and says, can you guarantee me that your radiation treatment won't turn one of my cancerous cells into some incredible hulk that's going to destroy me? I'd begin by saying that the study that we just presented does not reflect what normally happens in women. This was a study based upon irradiation of cancer cells within the petri dish. When we provide radiotherapy to treat real life, real life women like you, we have already removed the cancer and what we're doing is we're retreating the tissue around the cancer with the radiation. So we're not treating real cancer cells. Now what that means long term is that if you choose to have radiotherapy to treat your breast cancer, your breast cancer recurrence risk over 20 years will be 15% as opposed to 40% if you choose to have breast cancer surgery without radiotherapy. Not only that, it will also improve your chances of surviving breast cancer. So I would strongly encourage you to have radiotherapy for treatment of your cancer. Okay, but if in doing that you create a new cell, I mean, he had to literally tell me to calm down when I went, whoa, you create a new cell that's going to kill you later. Yeah. Then why? Why not so, just cut out more of the breast? So, well, you know, mastectomy is one option, but it's, there have been a number of trials, about uh, 80 trials, in fact, that have compared surgery performed with and without radiotherapy. And they've shown consistently over decades that adding radiotherapy to surgery reduces the chance of cancer recurrence and improves survival. So that's okay. 80 studies compared to one study that's theoretical based upon a petri dish. Well, so the theoretical, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's actual. It's theoretical when it comes it's, to putting it, when, to transplanting the petri dish into the breast. It's theoretical. Into a living patient. It's theoretical because they're radiating a living tumor cell in a petri okay. dish, and in patients, we irradiate the breast after the tumor has but been removed. But doctor, here's the thing that would scare yes. me as, as a patient or as yes. the loved one of a patient. You didn't know this. You, one of the doctors who knows more than anybody else about, about surgery and breast cancer, until this study came out, you didn't know that your radiation was doing this. Uh, well, I think that the study does not apply to what's actually done by surgeons and by, and by radiation doctors in real life scenarios. Oh, this is not so, a you're real life, so you're disagreeing with this the This is not a study. real life scenario. Okay. You can do anything in a petri dish, but we have taken the cancer out of the breast and we're treating the tissue that remains after cancer removal. What this study emphasizes is that, you know, we, we're learning a lot about stem cells. Stem cells are important. We need to find more effective ways to treat them and identify them. Okay. But it also means that when it comes time for surgery, you should have a surgeon that you're confident in who can map out the extent of the tumor, remove the tumor completely, so that when it comes time for radiotherapy, you can give the radiotherapy with, without this being the consequence of it. And in the end, have a better survival with a lower risk of recurrence. Wow. That's the ultimate goal. And in most cases, preserve your breast instead of opting for a mastectomy, which will completely remove your breast needlessly in many cases. 
Yeah, but if I had breast cancer, I'd say just whack that off. Okay. And it's because a choice. And I'm, 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 I don't know why I yes. feel like I'm in the minority with that. I don't know why more women just don't say, hey, I'm not taking that chance. Well, so that's a, another it, topic. It's an intriguing study. Yes. It really is. And, it and, is and now you have more to tell your patient. Yes. All Thanks, right. Dr. Dr. Dennis Holmes. I hope this will help. It LA's, did help. It LA Center help. for Women's <laughs> Health. Thank you for coming in and explaining it. Thank you. Marvelous bedside manner for a surgeon. <laughs> really, you know. Next. You're, calm. You're very calm, he is, doctor. Thank you. The day in photos, including a look at how a royal newlywed spent.